feel uninvited Left home in West LA, I'm not excited So uninspired On my way to play the bay Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't even met before, my name is Shiv. Hello, if you're coming back then, welcome. In today's video, I have filmed this look for you right here, which would be perfect for like a date night or something like that. And I use the Revolution Pro Truth or Dare Eyeshadow Palette, which looks like this, which you shall shall see shortly into the video where I show you how I create this makeup look that I have on my face right now and I will also be touching on a few kind of pros and cons about this eyeshadow palette so if you want to see kind of my full honest thoughts on the palette then please carry on watching before you do please give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already it means the absolute world hit the notification bell while you're at it gotta do all those things right now to be alerted of my videos because YouTube likes to hide them <laughs> and let's just carry on with the video so first of all, let's just forget that these are here. Time in the month, skin stressing out. Can't deal with it, that's my hormones. So carrying on with the video, I'm gonna start with the Revolution Pro Truth or Dare Color Focus Shadow Palette. So I'm gonna create a smoky eye using this. The packaging is really nice. It's just like a chocolatey brown kind of looking design. I'm just gonna get into it. This is what the palette looks like. Copies the outer packaging, which I quite like, so it kind of runs cohesive all the way through. It's got this nice sort of textured top. And then you open it up. I'm just gonna get rid of the sheet. The names are on the sheet, which bothers me a little bit, but we can work with that. And it has some really beautiful shades in here. You've got some mattes and some shimmers. I definitely wanna dive into the shimmery gold definitely i feel like there's definitely loads of palettes recently that have like a pop of blue but i don't really mind i feel like it works and then this shade here looks stunning i don't know if you can see how reflective that is on camera i will do a little phone flash shot of the palette for you now just so you can see what it looks like this is definitely going on the inner corner so let's begin i'm just going to dive straight in it's super early in the morning right now well for me anyway usually i film quite late at night or like in the evening it is half past 9 a.m and we are filming you guys it's it is the uh, what day of the week it is the Wednesday the 12th of February and we are filming at half nine in the morning go me okay so to start off I've already done my brows I use the Bella Pia chestnut brow pencil and then the P Louise base just all over my eyes I'm gonna do this eye to start off with so I'm gonna take the shade toned which is this one here that only seems to be two like real matte shades in the palette so I'm gonna take this one right here and just pop that through the crease I'm gonna take quite a lot Large brush. This is the LA Girl 202 blending brush. It's really big and fluffy and easy to get in there. So I'm going to go straight into the shadow. This is actually a really pretty palette. Like the more I look at it, the more the glitters and everything like that are just absolutely stunning. So I'm going to take some of that, just make sure my base hasn't like creased at all. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start by softly running this through the crease. I am going to go for a smoky eye. So we will just take some time blending out the shadow. Probably should have gone with a smaller brush to start, but it will. I'm just going to start and even work that into the inner corner as well. Just really work it in so there's no like patchiness or anything like that. These shadows are super easy to blend, um, but I just find that you do kind of like don't go in with too much of a heavy hand because then that's when I find you get sort of like the patchiness, but it is fixable. Going back. And fro. I will be doing blog posts of both of these palettes. The Revolution Pro Truth or Dare and then the Revolution Pro Smoke and Mirrors palette is the next video coming up on this channel. And I'm going to be doing like a kind of corresponding blog post of both of the palettes. So definitely check out my blog for that. That will be coming soon tomorrow evening hopefully when you see this video so i'm just blending that out softening at the outer corner gone a little bit patchy here but i'm just going to keep blending and we will prevail i'm also going to take that under the lower lash line as well I'm looking up and rolling that around. I know this probably looks painful, but it's not. 
Now I'm going to take the shade Core, which is this dark brown colour, and I'm going to use that to pack that on the outer part of the eye and then blend it into the crease. And I'm taking it on a Primark 230 blending brush, which is very similar to a MAC 217. So I'm just going to load up my brush and then just pack that on the outer corner and just kind of work that in, holding my brush at an angle so the brush picks up the shadow on that side and then I can easily pack it onto the lid. And then just use the tip of the brush to blend into the crease. There you go, we're adding some dimension now. Then I'm going to run that under the lower lash line, making sure it's quite heavy on the outer corner. I'm just going to go back to the brush that had the lighter brown on it and just use this to kind of give an overall blend. I'm not picking up any extra colour or anything like that. I'm just going to soften it a little bit. Okay, it's not my favourite blend of life. But I'm going to add a little bit more of the dark brown just in the top of the crease here. For the lid, I'm actually going to take the shade right here, which is called Booted, which is like a dark purpley brown, and I can see tiny little flecks of glitter in it, but I'm going to pop that all the way across the lid. I might wet my brush, I feel like that will help pick up the colour a little bit more, because I want to use the kind of glittery shades in the palette as almost like a topper, so I feel like this will be a good lid shade. There's a good amount of product on my brush, which is always a good sign. Yeah, gorgeous. I'm just going to pack that all across the lid. Just taking it right up to where my crease is. Got a few bits of fallout, but nothing extreme at all. Now I'm taking that dark brown shade again. I'm just going to blend very delicately through the crease just to kind of soften that line out a little bit. It's more of a smoky eye as opposed to like a harsh cut crease. This look is looking a little bit grungy but I feel like once I've kind of tidied it up a little bit, added lashes, foundation, everything else to do with the makeup look, I feel like it will look good. Do you know what I mean? I'm just going to spritz my BH Cosmetics number no. 9 brush with a little bit of setting spray. Then I'm going to go into the shade Mineral, which is this beautiful shimmery gold colour, golden bronze I would say, in the middle of the palette. And I'm going to just pack that on top of the lid shade and hopefully add some drama and like sparkle to the look. Oh, okay, so nothing's really coming through there. I'll just pack that on, maybe I can get a little few flecks of glitter. just realised I wasn't recording and I don't know how long for but basically what I was saying is I'm glad that I've used this as an eyeshadow topper rather than trying to use it as an all over lid shade because as you can see it is very like fine bits of glitter but packed over another shade it does look really pretty. We're going to move on to the waterline now and I'm going to line the waterline with the Revolution Pro Supreme Pigment Gel Eyeliner in the shade Brown. Oh that was a good one. Then I'm going to do my eyeliner. I don't know if I'm going to do a wing yet. We'll just see what happens. This is the Revolution Renaissance Liquid Liner. I absolutely love this liner. So far, the shadows are okay. They're not blowing me away, I won't lie. But I feel like I'm going to wait until I've used that in a corner shade to like really make my mark here. Okay, I feel like it needs a wing. I feel like it's going to look okay when I clean it up with concealer as it's a little bit messy underneath. Then I'm going to curl up my lashes with the Super Drug Rose Gold Eyelash Curlers. Any eyelash curlers will do. Just pop them on and give it a squeeze. Then for mascara, I'm going to take the Revolution Blowout High Volume Mascara. Just pop some of that on before my falsies. 
Then for lashes, I'm going to take the Isle Luxe 3D Aurora 3D Faux Mink lashes. I'm going to go ahead, pop these on, do the other eye, and we'll be right back. Okay, so eyes are done. Now it's time for the face. I'm going to start by priming with the Revolution Hydro Matte Primer. I've been loving this lately. This is really moisturising, but just makes your skin feel super ready for makeup, and it's just mattifying as well. It's just a really, really good primer. So I'm going to pop this on all over the face. For foundation, I'm going to be taking the Wonder 2 Last and Foundation. This is in the shade 20 Sand. I'm going to be popping it on, of course, with my Spicy Choco Tear Blend Sponge. You guys need to check out these sponges. They're so amazing. I do have a discount code, which is Siobhan, just in all caps, I believe, which is 10% off. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that. I just absolutely love these sponges. I love the company. They're just like the cutest people. So I'm going to pop this on all over the face. For concealer, I'm going to be taking the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C4. Just popping a lot on my chin because of this situation. Forehead, under the eyes, down the nose, the huge, and then going to be blending out with the sponge. Then to set the face, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Superstay Powder in the shade Ivory. I'm just going to press this into the skin to set everything into place. I actually really like this powder. I only bought this like on a whim the other day and it's so good. For bronzer, I'm going to take this huge bronzer from Revolution. This is the Warm Mega Bronzer. I'm just going to bronze up my face as per usual, just in like a three shape around my face. For blush, I'm going to take my Primark Taboo blush. I haven't used this in a while and I really like it. It's just a peachy blush. Stippling that onto the cheeks for a nice flush of colour. Then I'm going to set the face using the Revolution Calming Makeup Fixing Spray. I'm just going to highlight my inner corner with this shade here, which is called Honesty. Oh wow, that is gorgeous. And then for highlight, I'm going to take the Revolution Pro Supreme Highlighter Metals Little Palette, and I'm going to take this gold shade right here just to highlight my cheekbones. I'm just going to be taking it on at this Anastasia A23 brush. So pretty. If you're after a really good, like, blinding highlight that's really affordable, this is definitely the one. I'm just going to pop some mascara on my lower lashes. For lips, I'm going to line them with Max Chicory Lip Liner. And then for my lip product, I'm taking the Revolution Pro Hydrating Lip Gloss with Collagen and Peptides in the shade Suede. I don't know if this is going to be sheer, but I'm going to layer it up. Oh, wow, that's intense. And this is the finished makeup look using the Revolution Pro Truth or Dare Eyeshadow Palette. With this palette, I would say it's definitely something that you can use and it's definitely really pretty. I would just say I was a little bit disappointed with this bronze shade right here straight off the bat, I will just say. I thought it would be a little bit more pigmented. It was basically just like a glittery eyeshadow topper. And then this shade here was beautiful, but it looked way more intense than I thought it would in a good way, if that makes any sense. So I wish this shade was the same kind of intensity as this and then it would be perfect perfect because that inner corner glittery highlight is just beautiful the lip gloss is a little bit sticky but i feel like it would be really good for like an editorial like photo shoot something like that is probably not something that i would personally wear out and about as i don't really tend to like kind of sticky lip glosses anyway however i think it looks really pretty and it definitely makes your lips look nice and plump but yeah i'm absolutely obsessed with this shade right here so if you do want to go ahead and check out the palette i will have it linked down below if you want to have a little nosy at it i think you could create some really nice kind of smoky looks with it as well this shade here looks really pretty and so 
so does the blue so I do want to dive into those at some point but this is what I came up with I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and hearing like my honest thoughts on the palette this palette was sent to me in PR however all opinions are my own I haven't been paid or asked to make this video and even if I was I would still be honest anyway I just have to say that and I feel like every youtuber just have to say that because there is a little bit of like controversy with like tutorials and reviews nowadays so I just want to get that out there that all opinions are my own etc so yeah this is the look that I came up with I think it would be perfect for like a date night maybe some drinks with your girls a little bit for brunch maybe if you feel a little bit dramatic and want to feel yourself you know what I mean but anyway if you did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already it would mean the absolute world check me out on Instagram while you're at it and thanks so much for watching I shall see you next time bye I've been absolutely loving this recently. It just feels. Which is cool. And it... mm -hmm. using the Revolution Pro Truth or Dare Revolution, obviously.